Hello, hello, welcome to Mandy Kane Lane, continuing the Graham Norton fun stories and all those things we have. I, this one just kind of popped up and I said, sure, why not? Amelia, oh, I can't read today. This has been happening all day. Amelia Clark, I know who that is, loses it at Phoebe Waller Bridges. I know who that is. Oh, I love Fleabag. Everybody's been recommending I watch it to react to it. I, I, to react to it. I, I've, been, I've seen it so many times. I love that show. And my only critique of that show is that it's so short. And I wanted more. And I wanted more seasons and more episodes and more. Because it's just awesome. Anyway. Uh, ridiculous story. Graham. Graham. Sorry. Sorry. Norton's good story guide. I don't know what the good story guide thing there is. What that means. But whatever. I've, I've had so many regrets about telling you guys about this story. <laughs> <laughs> I remember okay. sitting next to Phoebe Waller Bridge. I remember talking to her before the show, and she said, "I'm going to tell the story." And I don't know what I don't know if I should. I don't know if this is because uh, I'm just worried about my, 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 you know. I I I don't know what people will think of me because it's it's quite. Is this a bad story? And she sort of told me what the story was, and I thought this is a great story. It's a perfect Graham Norton show tale. Backstage, there are okay. some japes with actors, you know. Sure, sure, sure. You know, you know. Yeah. <laughs> they keep the other actors kind of uh, um, uh, entertained when it, uh, it's a really long run. And uh, I'm really sorry, Mum, that I'm telling this story. Nope. Um, and there was one, I was doing Hay Fever, and it was a three month run. And uh, there was one moment, <laughs> there's one moment on the stage where I was off stage with this other actor, Sam, and one of the other actors, played by, uh, one of the characters played by uh, Freddie Fox, would storm across the stage, open this door, and we'd be standing behind the door, you know, masked from the audience, and he had to go, <gasps> And then he'd slam the door and run back onto the stage. And so we always used to do something kind of quirky behind the door to make him <laughs> laugh. And uh, every night, and we started off by doing a little like, ooh, like we're kissing, or like, oh, we put a funny hat on Sam. But it was three months long, this run, and we had to <laughs> up the game every night, every single night. And so we started getting the stage management involved, and there were massive like hot dog costumes, and like, things we brought people from outside to come in. So every time Freddie would open the door, he'd be like really excited, and he'd be like, <gasps> and then we'd be like, yeah. and we'd change really quickly, and then run onto stage, and then other cast members could see it. And it was building and building, and we were running out of ideas, and there was like a week left, and we were exhausting ourselves and then suddenly it was getting to the last night and we were like we have to have a big finish like what are we going to do for freddie and neither of us could think of anything and suddenly we did the matinee and we'd done this kind of wild kind of like spangly glittery thing and then on the final performance we had nothing and we were like we have to do something we have to do something we could hear freddie coming across the stage and we were like we haven't thought of anything <laughs> sam just said just <laughs> just I know, I've got it. Well, just show them your asshole. Oh! <laughs> I was like, what? That's awful. He was like, it's brilliant. The stage management around me going, perfect. You are. <laughs> <laughs> I just do that. And I was like, really? And they're like turning me around. I was like, is this going to be good? Skirt on. No, it's a horrendous story. <laughs> and they had this huge pink skirt on. Everyone's like, it's gonna be great. And I was like, yeah, it's gonna be great. Oh my god, what's happening? And I was leaning down, and then Freddie was running. <laughs> and I was like, bent over with the stage management, like, ah. <laughs> and then he opened the door, and Freddie just went, oh. <laughs> The glitterati of the London stage, like Olivia Coleman, Lindsay Duncan, Kevin McNally, all going, yeah, too far. Too far. <laughs> <laughs> it was horrendous. Well told. Yeah. Well told. Bravely told. It's gone now. Oh my God, that was great. I thought, I thought she was. They, they were gonna go in a different direction. <laughs> um. Yeah. <laughs> I don't, I don't want to say what I was thinking, but also I think it's hilarious that the idea came from someone that she should do it instead of he should do it. That's messed up. <laughs> Your idea, you do it, you take the fall, you take the, you take the whole rap for it. Um, but yes, brilliantly told, that was funny. I love that, that she's, actually I've only, I think I've only seen her in Fleabag, but I would like to look up more stuff from her because she's just awesome. I like her a lot. And, um, <laughs> well, that was an interesting story, I guess. Okay, there you go. That was fun. I, these, these titles bothered me, though, because Amelia Clark loses it. That's not even what happened. It was just she told a great story that was hilarious, and it was funny for everybody, but it's not like Amelia Clark was, she's like the first thing in the title as if that was the most important thing, and 
was not at all. I barely even saw her. So, eh. But whatever. That was a great story anyway. I I don't know what this good story guy... Like, they just have people come on again to talk about stories that have already happened and they were there. I don't know. But anyway, still fun. Everybody, you know the drill. Whatever you have to do, have a great one. Have fun. Live life to the fullest. Be happy. Be positive. And um, you know what? If today isn't a good day, tomorrow's a new one. So hopefully tomorrow will be better. Good night. Goodbye. Good. Just toodles. Toodles covers it all. <laughs>